Okay, first up is this Apache trainer plane that's seen better days. I paid a hundred bucks for all this and paid a little more than maybe you might think it's worth, but it came with two OS uh, 46AX engines, a Thunder Tiger Pro 46, a GMS 76, a HP Gold Cup 61 engine, and that radio is just an old uh, high-tech prism. Um, I turned around and sold the airplane, fixed it up, um, put an Irvine engine on it, of course, kept the OS engines, uh, fixed the airplane up and sold that for uh, 75 bucks. And then um, um, sold the HP for, I think, $65 US, 70 bucks maybe. And I sold the airplane and kept the engines. So I came out ahead on that deal. Next up, we have two Century Falcon 46 SC Nitro Helis, both loaded with electronics, uh, food OS hyper engines, muffler with pipes. The scale one had a scale square type uh, pipe in it. And it was a um, Bell 222 scale fuselage that seen better day, days. The tail was busted out pretty good and it was missing the complete rotor head. The other one with the blades that you see on it is a complete ready to run helicopter. Uh, JR digital servos, 401 gyros, um, Heli Command Barbarian stabilizer systems. It's like pre far fly bar system. Those were very expensive back in the day. Um, sorry for lack of pictures, but picked both of these guys up for 175 bucks and parted out the scale model, kept the servos, gyro, and sold the frame, the body, or the fuselage, and the muffler for it. And the other one is still sitting on my shelf complete. Needs a good going over before it would fly, but I thought those were a pretty good deal, being that they all had high-end components on them and in good shape. Here is an OS-91 Surpass four-stroke airplane engine. Picked that up for 30 bucks. Needed a little bit of cleaning and some love and new bearings. It's still uh, a project, still sitting in a box. This radio is part of a package deal I got for 30 bucks. There was two of these transmitters and another old school metal case transmitter and a whole bunch of electronics, um, some batteries, some servos, some old speed controllers, multimeter, gimbals, mixed bag of stuff. I just took uh, what I figured I would use and donated a bunch of it to Makerspace in town here, and these transmitters are still sitting around. I just like to get rid of them eventually. It's just some collector, but they're pretty neat to play with. Pretty old stuff. Next up is this little haul. Picked this up for $75. This lady needed to clean her garage out. And I was there when, with my boots on. And the airplane you see is a Goldberg Studocker. 60 to 90 size. You can also notice that flight box. Uh, had quite a bit of old stuff in it that needed to be thrown away, like the the pump and the tank and whatnot. But there was a nice stash of brand new OS glow plugs, including some four-stroke plugs and some decent useful tools, plug wrench, glow driver, um, the field load meter, the Hobbyco. 
And in this view, you can see a bunch of other stuff. There's a few more engines. Uh, ASP 75, Magnum 65, OS 40 FP, and OS 46. In the little box, there's a Airtronics mechanical gyro and some helicopter blades and booms look like miniature aircraft. Like I threw out the wooden blades and kept the rest that was useful. And you can see some tail fins and miscellaneous parts to the left there and some new props. Um, a charger in that little plastic tote, high tech radio, some little wall power supplies, uh, a dead alley, a dead lead cell pack, motor mounts, blah, 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 miscellaneous. And the little yellow uh, fuel container, pretty nice little unit. And that cardboard box is some old batteries. They ended up going into recycling. Um, but yeah, pretty good deal for 75 bucks. Um, that green tote I cleaned up, took, took out some of the stuff I needed and um, threw some other parts in there and I called up the guy that I sold the Apache to and just gave him that. So paying it forward a little bit. He was pretty happy to have that stuff. Oh, and I gave him the charger as well. Okay, I saved the best for last. This big bundle I got for two hundred dollars. The guy was in a hurry to set to move and needed it gone. He was in a little apartment. Um, in this picture, all you can see well, this is what you see. The helicopter is a Blade um, four fifty three D. Yeah, it's got a fly by our paddle. That's that's the first one. The next one was a. Uh, well, it's in the next picture. I'll get to that in a sec. But what's not pictured is a T Rex six seven hundred E, fly bar version, that was crashed. Everything was still on it: motor, servos, receiver, everything complete. But it was crashed. The canopy was salvageable. I kept that. The frames were cracked. The uh, main gears were broken, skids, this and that, tail boom, etc. But that was a really good score. And so there's that. That's not in the picture. And then what you see here is on the top left is two uh, drone transmitters and then a real basic E flight transmitter. And then I'm pretty sure that was a DX7 and another cheap transmitter. And then in the gray case is a DX8. And then two, you can see two toy gray drones, the black and the white, a little tote with the 450 parts in it and some tools, a charger with those colored buttons. And then I figure what the helicopter is there. You can just see it with the orange and yellow. It's a blade. Uh, MCPX, I can't remember, it was like two years ago. And then in this picture on top is a brand new, never flown Nexus 46, Nexus 46 with servos, OS 46 engine and blades. And then below that in the picture is another Nexus 30. And it's actually complete, minus the canopy. It looks a little rough, but it, it's all there. And these two were also part of the $200 deal. So I just thought I'd save the best score for last, 200 bucks. Kept a lot of that stuff and sold the 46 and made some money. So that concludes this episode of Barn Find. Um, there will be more to come. If you believe it or not. And this doesn't include my guitars and motorcycle collection of stuff. So this just goes to show that there can be deals out there. You gotta be in the right place at the right time and 
and sometimes it works out. Uh, a lot of this stuff I've paid forward, given away, helped people out with some parts, and some of it I sold and made a little money and made use of the rest of it. So if you're into it, there's deals out there. Good luck. See you next time.